You are now watching Always Fresh Apparel. What's up, YouTube? It's Always Fresh Apparel, and today the video is titled Sneaker Pickups for August 2013. So today for you guys, I have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine pairs of shoes for you guys that I picked up in the month of August. Um, some of these I got from Carmel Loop, so I did use store credit that I had available. Some of them I got from like Finish Line, Foot Locker, and some of them I actually got from like, uh, if you guys know Buffalo Exchange, I'm not sure if it's just here in Portland, but it's kind of like a little, it's like a step up from like Goodwill, so it's kind of like a second hand shop, but I got a pair of shoes there for really cheap, and they're an expensive pair of shoes. Like I said, I have nine pairs of shoes for you guys today, so I'm going to start out with the, the sportswear kind of Nike related shoes first, so let's just get into that. Before we get into the video, uh, I just want to let you guys know that I'm going to throw on all the shoes, and the pants that I'm going to be wearing before you guys ask are the Kith Mercer pants. This was from White Label 2.0, so they are the black pants with the lightning bolts embroidered in them. Uh, they are all sold out. eBay is going to be your only option, but I just wanted to let you guys know that they are the Kith Mercer pants before we get into the video, so enjoy. All right, you guys, first up, we have the Nike SB and MIA Skate Shop Dunk Low collab. Bam, right here. Uh, big shout out to my homie Big L20 for hooking me up with these. Uh, all of my local skate shops were sold out, and he looked out and was able to snag me a pair, sold them to me for retail. So thank you again, man. As you guys can see, very crazy sneaker. We got the light blues, the blues, the aquas, the teals. You have this clear outsole with the orange hit there. Orange all in the inside. These came with blue and orange laces. I decided to throw in the blue because I thought that it added a better look because of the blue leather around the toe box. It's retailed for around $119. And as you can see, you have this aqua suede kind of like a watercolor going all around the back of the heel that's my favorite touch on this shoe definitely going to be rocking these with an all white and black outfit and let the kicks do the talking so there you guys go the nike sb dunk low and mia skate shop collab all right you guys next up i'm taking it back to basics for you guys i got a pair of black and white nike roshi runs just a very simple classic shoe. Uh, this really will go with anything that you want to wear. Shout out to Urbanity Shop up in Seattle. My homie James Kim works there. They were having a 30% off sale. So I got these Roshis for about 46 bucks. Um, can't beat that. Uh, white midsole, gray Nike swoosh with the black mesh going all throughout the upper. Very classic, can go with really anything you want to wear. Black rope laces, not really much else to say about this shoe. Again, $46. Uh, does not get any better than that. So here you guys go with the Nike Roshi Run. All right, you guys, next up for the Nike-related sportswear shoes. I told myself I would not fall into the hype, but I ended up copying the Air Jordan Fire Red 3s. Um, I was not originally planning on getting these. I actually passed on Saturday that when they released but Dick's Sporting Goods tweeted a link a couple days after. Uh, they had them my size and I just said I have to go for it. Uh, these are just such a classic sneaker. The all white leather, the black hits, the red hits. It is just gonna be perfect to match with anything. I got these in a size eight and a half. I heard that threes ran a little big so I sized a half a size down and they fit me perfect. So I would recommend doing that if you guys are looking for a, th a Jordan 3. I would recommend half a size down. You got the Jumpman Air on the back. Gray, red, and white outsole. Just a very classic silhouette. Um, the threes, fours, sixes, and sevens are my favorite Jordans. So I have a three and a four. Uh, sixes and sevens are going to be next in my collection. So here you guys go. The Air Jordan 3 Fire Red. Sticking with the sportswear related theme runners, trainers, uh, but I'm moving away from Nike now. I have the collaboration between Herschel Supply Co. and New Balance, the 420 sneaker. As a lot of you know, these sneakers dropped a couple weeks ago. They were on Karma Loop. I did get these on Karma Loop using my store credit. Um, they came in a gray, red, and olive. Uh, gray, burgundy, and olive, actually. And I ended up copying the gray on the 420. They had the 420, which is a much slimmer silhouette, and then they kind of had a little more bulky boot. I don't remember what the model is called. But the gray with that white midsole is just, this did it for me with the paisley uh, inside the red paisley. Just was a, a nice touch. 3M on the end branding on the side right there. I threw in the white laces. So they have little uh, speckles of red, which I think is an awesome touch as well. Uh, I think that New Balance and Herschel Supply Co. knocked this collab out of the park. I think this is going to be a perfect fall shoe. Match this with some olives and some burgundies. And you cannot go wrong with this sneaker. $80 on Karma Loop. Um, definitely worth the $80. Bucks. 
There you guys go, the New Balance and Herschel Supply Co. 420. All right, you guys, next up, we're kind of going away from the sportswear, and I have two pairs of Gourmet to show you guys. First up, we have the Gourmet Nove 2L in Chili Pepper. These joints are crazy to me because I was originally really wanting an all red pair of sneakers, but the Air Max 90 Independence Day pack sold out. That was the red, all red sneaker I wanted. So these Gourmets came out on Karma Loop again, and I decided that I had to go for them. These were about $120. I think that they're definitely worth it. You got this kind of crocodile leather all in the upper with the red midsole, red outsole, red everything, red laces. Uh, these definitely pop. You got a strap right here with the gourmet branding right there This leather on the upper actually does make it a little water resistant and waterproof So you can wear this during the fall and winter when it starts to rain all in all This is going to be a perfect shoe to match with white and black and then just let your shoe just pop and be a completely standout color um, That's what I'm gonna do with these definitely happy. I purchased them. They were worth the money um, There you guys go. I mean it just looks good it definitely looks good. It kind of reminds me of a Balenciaga, but this is a poor man's Balenciaga. I will take that. So here you guys go, the Gourmet Nove 2L in Chili Pepper. Sticking with the theme of Gourmet, I got these again on Karma Loop. They have them for sale for $115, I believe. Today I'm showing to you guys the Gourmet 35 Lite, the Cork Edition. Now, again, like I said, those last red ones were the Balenciaga, the poor man Balenciagas. These are the poor man LeBron 10 Corks. Since I could not get the corks, I decided that I would go with these gourmets. They definitely have a nice touch. Black suede going all around the trim with this multicolored cork on the upper. White midsole, white and black outsole. Gourmet branding on the tongue. I definitely think this is going to be a perfect shoe for more towards the fall. Not so much when it's raining because I don't know if water, how water will take on this cork but definitely an all around kind of standout shoe that you don't see very much besides the LeBron Tan cork. Um, so here you guys go with the Gourmet 35 Lite corks. All right, you guys, next up, one of my favorite collaborations ever in the entire fashion world. Today we have the Converse and Comme des Garcons. This is the black and white high top. As you guys know, I have the white and black high top, but I love that one so much that I decided I had to get the black and white. Um, they look exactly the same, but instead of the canvas being white, the canvas is black, and the hearts are white this time. White laces, it's an extremely simple shoe. This is on their pro leather model, but there actually is no leather on it. I don't really know why they call it that. Um, but definitely an all around very good looking sneaker. I have been wearing these like crazy. You guys know this is my favorite pair of sneakers to date. Both of those colorways, I think this collaboration just kills it. Um, you guys definitely need to look into it. They're only 140 retail. So if you go on eBay and look, just know that 140 was the retail. So don't pay too much over that. So here you guys go. The Converse and Comme des Garcons Pro Leather High Top. Going more into the fall theme and the fall and winter theme of today's video. Um, you guys know you need a boot. Next up, you guys, we have two pairs of Timberlands. The first pair up is this all wheat Timberland. That's basically it. You guys know this is the classic uh, premium six inch boot from Timberland, the wheat colorway. Uh, I actually got these at a resale shop. These were only $46. They have been worn, but you really can't even tell at all. And besides, I'm gonna get them dirty. I'm gonna wear them a lot um, because that's what boots are. You know, they're meant to take rugged terrain and all that good stuff. So these retail for, I think, 160 to 180, and I got them for 46, size eight. You definitely have to do a full size down on Timberlands. They run big, but here is a perfect fall and winter shoe um, that you can just wear with anything. You don't really have to worry about anything getting wet, anything like that. This is just going to be a perfect sneaker for that. Leather trim around the entry of the foot. Uh, you can't really say much else, just a very classic sneaker. So the Timberland six inch premium boot. And last up you guys, my favorite pair of shoes that I got in this haul and they are going to be my most worn pair of sneakers during the fall and winter. Um, it's another pair of Tim's. But today's pair we have the Billionaire Boys Club, the Beeline and the Timberland collaboration boot. This boot is just absolutely insane. Um, these actually released I think last year and the Beeline collection on Billionaire Boys Club, they actually had them on sale. These originally retailed for about $250. They were on sale for $156. I knew that I had to get these because these will not last long and they don't go on sale very often. So I had to take advantage of that. You have this kind of combination between an olive and brown leather. They call it olive, but it really is more brown. It's a leather going all throughout the boot. The collaboration is most well known for the red laces that they came with. A lot of the people that bought these boots threw in the red laces to give it a nice little pop of color. 
Um, you have silver eyelets going across the shoe. These are waterproof, water resistant, whatever you want to say. So whenever it's raining here in Portland, which it's going to be a lot, I'm going to be wearing these for sure. So you'll definitely see a lot of fits uh, with me in this, Instagram pictures, uh, fit of the day, whatever. Um, so I'm very happy I got these, the Timberland and Beeline collaboration. So thank you guys again so much for watching. Hope this gave you a little insight into what I'm going to be wearing during the fall and winter and just stuff I've picked up so you guys can maybe look at how the shoes looked on me and then maybe go buy them if you want. That's what I'm here for, to give you guys ideas. So thank you guys again so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the format of this video and the style. I decided to switch it up and try a little something different. So again, thank you guys so much for watching and remember to stay fresh, my friends.